everybody this is omika from blessed gardener zone 7a and today i am going to put out a second round of corn i've never done this before putting out a second round but this time i am going to try it and try to get it in before we get our first frost our first frost usually is around mid-october it all depends you know each year from year to year is different so i'm gonna try it and see can i get some in and get it producing beforehand and this is field corn the uh white hickory field corn so i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna get started Here's the corn that I planted about two weeks ago. Um, I did it in the cups because I still had corn in the ground and I wasn't sure if I would have enough time. So I started them out in the uh, four by four trays. And I'm gonna go through and try not to disturb the roots and put them in the ground. that I did not disturb them at all these little four by four trays actually work pretty good with that and I'm not going to rough up the uh, roots or anything like that I'm just gonna dig a hole put it in the ground I'm gonna have to dig a little deeper so I'm gonna get my warren hole which is this is like my buddy right here this is the best hoe in the world. I love this hoe. And it has that sharp edge, and I keep it sharp. So if something was come out at me, it got me covered. When I need to dig a hole, it got me covered. When I need to heal, it got me covered. Um, the Warren hoe is, it's an old hoe, and, uh, but she does the job. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna dig deeper so I can get them real deep in the ground because I want mine deep. And I'll come back and show you guys when I'm done, all right? Do you see how deep that hole is? That's how deep I want. 
Now some people do it a little different. There's nothing wrong with that. Everybody has their own way of gardening, but I want mine really deep, so if a windstorm comes through, it won't knock it over, and still, even then, it don't guarantee that it won't, but at least it's a lot deeper, and uh, it will easily knock it over. So, I'll come back, and I'll show you guys the end result. All right, you guys, finally finished putting all the corn out. And it's about dark. I did four rows of the uh, white hickory field corn. And I gotta tie that tomato up. Yep, so everything looks good. All right, you guys. So just wanted to come in and share that with you all right so this is blessed gardener zone 7a and you guys be blessed have a great day